Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kratzinski's Crash Courses in Success. Every week, I will be right here laying a trail of breadcrumbs that will get you out of this maze. So let's get right to it. As you know, my friends, the hot new trend of the season is losing your job. More than 500,000 people are jumping onto this bandwagon every month. But you, you don't like crowds. So what do you do? How do you hold on to your job? I'll tell you. One, stop sweating the small stuff like minimum wages, health care, retirement benefits, being paid. Do you really need these things? Focus on what matters. Love, family, God. Concepts we Americans have forgotten in our greedy grasping for material wants. I want a home. I want food. I want water. I want air. Want, 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 want. This is the kind of whining that drives our corporations away to China and India, where people keep their wants to themselves. Remember the New Age philosophy that says your own energy either attracts money to you or not. So if you're broke, your boss don't provoke. That union membership revoke. Your inner energy invoke. The simple way to keep your job is to be more Mexican. Or, as the old song goes, work like an illegal. But what about those of you who have already been laid off? What do you do? More after this news break. General Motors, Ford, and ExxonMobil have collaborated on an auto industry breakthrough. The largest possible car that can go the shortest possible distance before needing refueling. Called the Wheeze, this 20-seater must-have for every suburban mom going to the gym makes it all the way to the end of the block before needing gas. Thank you, Maria. I've already explained how to hold on to your job. Now for those who have already lost your jobs, here's what you need to do. First, go into intense depression. This is the easy part. It will come naturally to many of you. The mistake most people make is that once this occurs, they rush out for therapy or drugs. No, no, no. Depression will give you the tools to ride out the depression excessive sleep, and loss of appetite. These, my friends, are the keys. The keys to hibernation. Hibernation. It's not just for bears. It's also for the French. Some French peasants hibernate through harsh winters by sleeping for days on end, waking up to eat just once every few weeks thus surviving with almost no food until spring. And if it's good enough for those bon vivants at the cutting edge of style, it's good enough for you. Why worry and fret over who did what to whom, how to change this and fix that? Just sleep it off and resurface when the economy blooms again. Now let me make one thing clear. I'm not opposed to therapy and antidepressant drugs if you can afford it. It's good for health, the health of our healthcare and pharmaceutical industries. The drugs also help by causing suicidal tendencies, which means fewer people competing for jobs and higher chances of employment for those who remain. All good in the big picture. Where was I? Uh, yes, so be less materialistic and be more Mexican, Chinese, Indian, French peasant, or bear-like. That's the way to buck the laid-off trend. Remember. If you want to run with the big dogs, you've got to piss in the tall grass. From the tall grass, this is Karloff Kratzinski.